Hey guys, and welcome to part four of The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1. So last time we tried to save Sean, but uh, that didn't really work out in the end. And now we are arriving in Macon. So let's continue on. This is as far as we're going. Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Uh oh. Loading screen. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. Sit down. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This is one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bike. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. You know what? I'm not going to do anything. He'll be three. And that boy is the ball. Which pretty much seals the deal for me. We're throwing him out. No, he's not 
I can look. Look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. We better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. Uh-oh. There we go. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore is the permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peach Street. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Nope. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Lily. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Take Statement. Papers when you go. Seems like years. Let's talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Uh, just warped. Nothing. What does it need? Batteries? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Beach too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, not right now. All right, 
Let me know if you want to. Let's just keep walking around. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guys. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, honey. There's a battery for Carly. Don't even come over here. Kenny? No, cat. This son of a bitch would have let that man feed our son the wolves. Stop that, Kenny. We were all frightened. Even I thought that maybe... Maybe we were going to lose our boy. I'm sorry, Katja. What if he... It's okay, Lee. From here on out, Lee, I need to know that you're on my side. Yeah, I am, of course. Good. Thank you. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How's she doing? She's good. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl. Are you saying, Lee, she spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much. But yeah, I did. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. That's wrong. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We didn't have a choice. You think you do when you was back up. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. All right. Here's a candy bar. I'm gonna feed that duck. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. It's not much, but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet. All right. So probably gonna end it off. Well, yeah, we'll just end it off here. Uh, we'll do a little, little bit more investigating in the next part, and then, you know, get some more stuff done, hopefully. So, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to take care.